There's a two-lane bridge just north of Camp Comfort in Ojai, California. It's said that there is a man badly charred will come charging out of the woods if you scream, help, help. This is the legend of Char Man. In 1948, Ojai, California, just near Santa Paula, was a sleepy little town. Today it's dotted with restaurants, wineries, organic restaurants, new age shops. But then there wasn't a huge population. And in 1948, there was a horrible fire. And in that fire, at least 30 homes burned. Probably people died, but people were probably very injured. At that time, the firefighting wasn't what it is today. You didn't have the communication, you didn't have the technology, and it isn't hard to believe that somebody would have gotten caught in that fire. Supposedly, there was a son and a father who lived off in a cabin up in the hills, and this fire started and they couldn't get out, and the father died fairly quickly in the fire, and the sun was horribly burned. So the son, frantic, tried to cut the burning flesh off his father and hung him in a tree and went crazy over a few days. When the authorities finally did come in and find him, he ran off and they couldn't catch him. And supposedly he still lives there. That's a little hard to believe, don't you think? Do you think there's a spirit of a guy like that running around? There might be. Supposedly, if you go up on the road and say, help me, help me, he comes charging out. Um, so that is the legend. So why would I put my kids in that kind of danger? Uh, because that is a legend, and I have not seen any police reports that say somebody was attacked by a char man, although people have said, reported that they've seen him. It's a very dreary day, and it's perfect for a little bit of legend tripping and ghost hunting. So without further ado, let's do this. We are currently in Ojai, and uh, it's just beautiful here. I just think it's awesome. So even if we don't find Charman, we will have had a great experience just checking out how beautiful Ojai is. Proceed four miles on the current road to your destination. All right, so here is Camp Comfort. Okay. Oh, there's a park. Here's the bridge. You have arrived at your destination on the right. Help me! Help me! This is the famous Charman Bridge right here. And uh, we're going to go take a walk, maybe under it, maybe on it, and see what's up. There's also another story that goes along with this. And that is a man that had very bad skin cancer. And this was in the mid 60s. And this was actually corroborated with a sheriff. And he said that this man was so embarrassed by the way he looked that he would only take walks at night, walk his dog at night, go out in the early morning hours. And sometimes people would catch a glimpse of him and get scared. Finally, he kind of thought it was cool that people got scared and continued to scare teenagers. There was a home located at the end of a road called Shelf Road. And at the time, that road was not very public. Apparently, that is the home. And so the home wasn't completely burnt to the ground. Now, this is information that came in the 60s. So it was 1948 when supposedly uh, this happened because that's when the fires were. It really sort of begs the question, is, is the char man really the man with cancer and really they put it together and said, no, 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 it's gotta be a guy that 
caught on fire. Maybe it was. Well, that's not the end of the stories. There's more stories than that. There's a story that there's a woman that on her wedding day was killed by her husband and runs in a bloody wedding dress with a veil over and haunts that bridge. There's a story of two young kids that are dressed in 19th century garb that hold hands and jump off the bridge and then when you go to the end of the bridge and look down, no, nobody's there. There's also a tale of a motorcyclist who got, ran off the side of the road by a pickup truck and was decapitated and he runs around all over that area looking for his head. All of the headless horsemen tale. We are under the bridge right now, literally underneath the bridge. So far, no sign of char, man. So, I don't know, does he live up in these hills? Are you ready to say it now, Dad? Help me, help me. Help, help me, help me, help me, help me. Help me, help me, help me. Well, we stood up there for a while and continued to say, help me, help me, but no char man showed up. In fact, I started to get worried that people from the campground were gonna think that somebody was really in trouble. Is the char man legend true? That depends on what iteration of the stories. Let's start at the end of the stories, okay? Let's start about the motorcycle guy that crashed. Maybe a guy crashed on a motorcycle. Do I think he's walking around trying to find his head? Couldn't find any record of a crash there. Then there's these kids that jump off the bridge that these spirit kids that are dressed in 19th century or 18th century wear. I don't think that's true. I, it doesn't have any basis. There's nothing behind it that I can find. So what about the char man himself? Well, it is very, very possible that somebody died in that fire. It's very, very possible that somebody got horribly burned in that fire. And it is possible that if a person was horribly burned, that they wouldn't want people to see them. That's true today. And I feel terrible for anybody that has been horribly burned. I mean, just imagine, you know, just people just with acne who don't want to be seen. It, it must be a, a very difficult thing to go through. So uh, these people are victims if they actually did exist in 1948 and become the char man of Ojai. Maybe they ran out wanting help and then somebody freaked out and ran the other way and then they died. Or maybe they lived and, and, and once in a while would come out and, and see what was out in the world. Maybe the same thing about the, the man with cancer, the same thing, it would make somebody feel very insecure to, to look like that. These people are not monsters. These people have been stricken with a disease or stricken with some horrible event. And we make stories up about them, maybe, or proliferate stories about them. So what is the takeaway from this? Well, one thing I do want to say, if you are going to go and you are going to investigate something like this for yourself and you just want to check it out, be very careful because... People can lay booby traps. People can have go down to these areas that they think are creepy or uh, just go to areas where they feel like they'll be left alone to do drugs, leave needles lay around. I didn't see that in this case, but I'm just saying. Sometimes people will just conjure up things. I really don't think it's the dead we need to fear. I really think it's the living. Take care of each other and keep rock alive. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like down below, and click that notification button so that you know when I upload new videos. The dude's gonna be miserable now.